Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Rens 4.2. Last time on the Let's Play, we reached Sailor's Room, fought her, and did the dirty deed, greatly disappointing Gendry in the process. So, let us proceed with the investigation of the Angel Army's base. We can start by looking at the surroundings. The room that the sailor was in. There are a lot of large water tanks. There is a door to the hallway in the north. Let's look at the tank. Check. There are five huge tanks of a size you'd usually only see at an aquarium. What about the fish? I approached the tank and peeked at its contents. I saw the cute thing with huge eyeballs and swimming lazily. What the heck is this? They are mackerels. You know them, Kisara? Yes. I used to like sea creatures as a child. I used to look at them in books a lot. Mackerels are usually reptiles, and they're quite ferocious. Hmm, can you eat them? I hear they don't have any poison, but I don't think they're very tasty. Why the heck was the sailor keeping fish you can't eat here? It's a mystery. I cannot help but uh, see this drawing of sailor as uh, Knuckles. It's, it's entirely the red hair, but she looks like Knuckles. Let's look at the grass. I decided to look at the grass swaying at the bottom of the tanks. It's swaying. That's cedar and pine and sunflower. You are, inco you are incorrect, Transdonal. Shut up. Don't get in the way of my pleasant viewing experience. Hmm? I saw something shiny next to the pine. I think it's a pine. Hmm. It's a key. Oh, you're right. There's a key in the tank. I don't know what it's for, but we should probably take it, right? I discovered a key in the tank. Let's take the key. Alright, I'm taking the key. Athena, get in there and get it. What? But I'll get wet! Whatever, just get it. Eh, I'll try. <laughs> Athena borrowed Gedry's shoulders and scrambled up to the tank. The tanks are over two meters tall so it's suffering even getting inside them. Phew! I'm going! Splash! With a big splash, Athena 2 entered the tank. Blub 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 blub. Ow! Athena 2 suddenly thrashed in the tank. Ow! Owie! Now! Ow! All of the mackerels seemed to have swarmed around Athena 2 I guess they were biting for. <coughs> Athena 2 emerged from the tank, crying after being beaten by the mackerels. Owie! I got beat! I can't get the key. Ransom, I think we'll have to do something about those mackerels first. Well, that's simple. I'll just destroy the whole tank. I drew my sword, but Gary stopped. Please wait, Ransdono. If you destroy a tank so huge, this entire underground base will be flooded. The whole thing? You're being dramatic. Anyway, it's dangerous, so please don't. Then you get on that tank and get that key. I can swim. Da, da, da. Hmm. How will we get that key? Can we take it again? Alright, I'm taking that key. Athena, get in there and get it. Okay, so this is the same dialogue we just had. So, what else can we do? Can we use our bucket full of sand? Alright, I'm gonna bail the water out. Splash, splash, splash. I bailed the water out with the bucket, but the water level didn't go down very far. Ransom, I think that'll take quite some time. Guess so. We still have... we somehow still have sand in our bucket. Can we use the difficult book? Come to think of it, I don't need a difficult book like this. Guess I'll throw it away. Splash. I threw the book in a water tank. Why would I of all people be carrying around a book like that? Hmm? Why? <laughs> Ransom, that ta the tank is a little strange. What is it? All of the creatures inside. As Genry said, all of the mackerels that had been happily swarming, swimming around moments before had floated up to the surface. Dead. They're dead. Because of the troublesome book? I can't imagine they died from the book, but maybe the ink used in it is poisonous to the mackerels. That's kinda sad. Bye bye, fishes. I don't know if it's because of the book I put in there, but all the mackerels are dead. Ah yes, the good old era of video games where puzzles absolutely make sense. Right, Athena, grab the key. Okay. Blub blub blub. Dive dive! 
I see another ode over to the deck. Blub blub, got the key! Alright, get back out here. Yes, sir. I think that you all took the key and left the deck. I'm all wet. It's cold. But I got the key. Yep. I obtained the key in the water. Sweet. Question mark. Let's save for the occasion. And move, I guess, to the north. Get the hell out of here. Let's keep going east. Enemy appeared. Oh, it's just some civilians. Um, we can kill them, we can tell them to piss off. Meh, who cares. Die, civilians. Okay, two down. Uh, let's take this one out. And four. I think Athena went for the wrong one. But they all done. Let's advance. Advance, advance, advance. What the heck is this? It's a slot machine. I'm aware of that. I was asking why it's here in of, of all places. For a chance to add flight bill of prizes? Dot, dot, dot. Um, I'll draw a slot machine here. Beep, beep. I iterate. Beep, beep, beep. I did it. Well, let's play. Friends, son, I don't think now is the time for... Heroes always have free time. I can't freak out like some pathetic loser. So I'm gonna play. Got it? Dot dot dot. We are in the slot room. Check. It's a slot machine left right out in the middle of the hallway. It's a simple game where you put medals in, pull the lever, and if the pictures match, match up, you win prizes. But I kinda like it. You know what is best with gambling in video games? Saves coming. Well, I guess I'll have a go. Let's see here. It looks like it doesn't accept money, Ransdor. It requires some sort of custom medals. I think I picked some, some medals up. Maybe I can use those. Okay. We... Oh, I see. I need to directly use the tokens. I inserted the medal into the slot machine. Ka click ding spin spin The slot machine started moving. Guy. Gal. Gal. We get a medal for consolation. Hmm, okay, let's try again. Uh, let's try again. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pause for a second and get back when uh, there is something good. Okay. I got the three guys. We won a guy card. A card emerged from the bottom of the slot. Obtained Uchi Hani card. I collected a new card. Uh, also, I used Cheat Engine to get myself more medals, because I'm definitely not going to bother grinding medals for CGs. Come on. Uh, right. I am going to continue for a little bit more to see what if something good pop pops out. But otherwise, we will continue. It is incredibly slow and boring, and I, I cannot be asked to keep doing it until I get all of the CGs. Uh, if you match three gal symbols, you get a gal monster card. And I don't know what happens if you match bar, because I never managed to match it. Let's keep going north. Enemy appeared. Oh, it's more civilians. RIP civilians. Gendry continues to be utterly useless. Gendry, come on. Right, this one is still conscious. Not anymore. Let's keep advancing. A bathroom, huh? It is rather disturbing that the bathroom is in the shape of uh, honeys. Uh, I don't think I would be happy bathing in a bathroom that in urinals that have faces on them. It's a guy's bathroom. I think it's a old Kisarachan. We'll have to wait outside. Dot dot dot. So let's wait outside together, Kisarachan. 
The theater all grabbed his son's hand and went back into, into the hallway. If you don't hurry, you'll turn into a boy! What? I hit a theater all on the head. That won't happen, dumbass. Owie, you hit me. Ugh. Stop saying stupid shit and draw the map. Okay. Toil Toilet's gotta be bodies, right? Right, you're right. Mm, done. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Can we enter the bathroom? He stood in front of the fourth urinal from the right and started peeing noisily. Oh, this feels great. Shh. Shh. Tinkle, tinkle. Looks like Gendry's noisy pissing is over. You're so fucking loud. I always pee about three liters, so. Ho 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 Wash your hands. Let's check the urinals. Men's urinals line the wall. They are all scrubbed clean, so it's not like it's filthy in here. But urinals are urinals. Do business. Dot dot dot. I don't need to yet. Fair enough. Uh, right, I guess there is nothing else left here. Then let us return to the entrance to continue our exploration. To the yet unexplored south. Drag point dragonfly. Advance, advance, advance. And advance some more. To the point RR. Alright, we now have a mysterious key from Sailor's Room, so maybe we can enter either this door or point R door. In that case, let's go into the B door and use our water key. Cannot use it here. Uh, yes. In that case, we are... Right, we cannot go east, we are going west. And we are going to the point R. Point R. At point R we are saving. Actually, System God, can you explain the water key? Hey, explain this. It's an awfully cold key. Huh? Is it a little wet? Well, I had it in my mouth. Ew, that's dirty. What? Why are you acting like I'm dirty? <laughs> I lied anyway. It's wet because it was inside a water tank. Oh, good. She's really relieved. Fair enough. Can we access our door? Wonder if I can use this key. I suck the water key into the keyhole. Alright, it fits. Click. I turned the key a little and heard the sound of the lock unlocking. You did it, Ron's daughter. Now we can get inside. Yep. Indeed. Let's go inside. The room we entered was completely different than any other room we'd seen so far. Yeah, who is here? <coughs> the maid who was in the room panicked and fled to the other side of the bed when we entered. My name is Renz. I'm a here too. The name is Kenny. I'm Kisara. Oh, I'm Punky, the maid. The maid bowed politely at us. Pleased to meet you. Hmm, so what's this room for? It looks pretty different. Is this the Angel Army's boss room? Um, could you people possibly be intruders? Yep. Yep, as. Gasp! Then you're terrible demons who thoughtlessly kill people and monsters. The maid backed up, trying to get as far away from us as possible. But. Please, don't kill me! If you do what I say. Oh no! Athena, draw this room on the map. Yes, sir! So, what should I call it? What is this room, anyway? It, it's Wendley in summer's room. So, she says. Yes, sir! Ready, right. We W-E-N-L-I-N-A. Currently in Wen's room. Wen Lena. Fair enough. Uh, where do we start? Self-destruct device. Let's start with the wall painting. Check. There's some kind of incomprehensible painting on the wall. I guess it's this one. Really now? Check again. Take it. Alright, Athena, we're taking this painting. Okay, we're taking it. Athena to all tried to take the painting on the wall, but the maid stopped her. You can't. Well, Lina Summer loves that painting. Please don't take it. I'm begging you. I see. Then I won't. Thank you. But I'll damage it. Huh? 
I ripped the painting open with the tip of my sword. You're terrible! How could you do something like that? <laughs> take it again. Who take the destroying the painting? Pit. You are the one who ruined it. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Chad. Yeah. There is a painting I damaged on the wall. Okay. Let's talk to the maid. Check. She seems to be a personal maid for this room. I guess her name's Ponky. She's not beautiful, but I guess she's okay to look at. I'd give her about 60 points. Top. Dot dot dot. Hey. Guess. Please don't kill me. The maid is too frightened to hold a conversation with. Assault? Alright. Well then, let's do it. Do what? Sex, of course. Take that. I pounced on the maid. I flipped the maid's skirt and stripped her panties swiftly, pushing myself right in. Okay, so we don't get CG for the maid, we just get a little cute chili. <laughs> this is great! Sex maid, sure, nice. But I'm a normal, huh? Would a normal maid get this wet? You're a sex maid. Ah, uh, no! I had my fun beat her. Phew, this was a nice snack. Well, I'll just... Nope. This is mine. Uh, I'm... Can we talk now? Hey. No. Assault some more? Okay, same result. Can we give her something? She... The maid stared seriously at the item I pulled out. Um, what about it? Nothing to say. I see. That's fine. What about glue? Also nothing. What about bucket of sand? Nothing. What about egg? This is an wooden egg. Yeah, isn't that nice? Um, hey, have it. I'm sure something good will happen if you give it to me. Why? Well, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess so. I give the maid the wooden egg. Uh, okay. Sure is development. What else can we do? Let's look at the fireplace. Check. This fireplace is the very picture of bourgeoisie. Rich people have this. Hmm? I prefer a traditional sunken hall. I prefer a traditional sunken hall. These stone made things just seem so chilly. But fireplace is a womb. Enter. Athena, check to see if there is a Santa Claus corpse inside the fireplace. Eh? Why? Apparently they're fairly common. Santa Claus is who come in through the chimney and burn to death in the fireplace. There might be presents it was carrying inside. Anyway, check it out. Yes, sir! Presents! Presents! I think it all rummaged around in the fireplace, searching. <coughs> There's nothing there! Tch, no fun. Can we use something that we have, like... water? No. Can we use glue? Also no. Alright. Then I am going to save and use the self-destruct device. Check. Hmm. What's this button? It's a self-destruct device. It exists so that when Lena Summer may push it, if she ever becomes tired of leaving. Dot dot dot. An explosion big enough to destroy this entire base and everyone else inside will occur. So please don't push it. A self-destruct device. But if Wendela pushed this, wouldn't everyone in the base die too? Yes. But we are all prepared to join Wendy in the summer at any time. Dot dot dot. So it's like a death cult. Push it. I slowly approached the button on the self-destruct device. Ah, uh, no, don't push that. Run, Zono. I wanna do what people tell me not to. That's a trait all humans share. Seriously push it. I am doing it. Push. I push the self-destruct button. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Boom. And we get a nice little game over. <laughs> okay, that's enough music. Let us return to the game. And get the hell out of here. Right, we have left the room. What else is there to do? I suppose we... Well... I feel like 
going to the west is pointless, we haven't found any means to get around the guy, so let's go south to the entrance. And it's more rebel group. Well, you guys are pretty easy. At least this time Gedry can soak up some damage. I am going to go for this guy. Now, you, my companions, should be able to clear up. Okay, instead Gedry decided to heal. And Kisara decided to do a useless kick. Oh, of course. Good job, guys. At least Athena is still useful. Even if Gendry isn't. And done. Gendry leveled up. Hmm. To come at us so suddenly. You must lack manners. Oh. <laughs> yes, we have read this. Advance, advance, advance. And move south. Keep walking. We arrived at a dead end, an iron door blocking our path. Looks like a door runs down. Yeah. I gave Gendry an annoyed reply without turning to face him. Oh, maybe actually we need to use the key for the bomb guard. Master, can I draw the map up to here? Yeah, I guess you should. Changing by the A drone at this door, the area beyond it must be room A. So this will be A front. I front? Yeah, hurry up and draw it. <laughs> You're so smart, Master. I'm gonna draw it then. I did it to overdrew the map. I'm done! We are in point A front. Let's check the door. Yep, it is definitely a sturdy looking door. The door doesn't appear to be locked. We entered the empty room. Hey, Athena, draw the map. Yes, sir. Room A, right? Right, right. Right. To check the tatami. Tatami, native to the country of Japan, line the room. Normally you'd have to be the worst kind of idiot to walk on them with shoes on, <coughs> but we might have to fight at any moment. Flip them. Take this! Tatami flip! Whoop. I grabbed the tatami at my feet with both hands and threw it in the air I threw it and threw it with all my might. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. What are you looking at me like that for? Uh, no, runs Dono. It's nothing. They did this in a ninja movie I saw a long time ago. I was reproducing the scene. Clap clap! Flip some more. Nope, same result. Chip bag. Chip. It's a bag full of chips. Lime flavored potato chips is written on the bag. I'm not fond of unhealthy food like this. Take. I picked up the chip bag. I guess I'll eat it these later. Eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them! I obtained a bag full of potato chips. And I guess this is it? Weird. Uh, explain to me about the bag of chips. Lion flavored potato, lion flavored potato chips, huh? I'd say I prefer refreshing zebra flavored chips myself. Nobody asked what you preferred. And aren't these a little damp? Chips that aren't crunchy are crunchy. Uh, stop complaining about other people's chips. Don't worry, you're not getting any. Right. Well, it is what it is. Let's see if we can use glue on the guy with the bombs. Uh, right, we have already looked under the mat, so I think this is the only area left unexamined. A man with bombs. Oh, he said something about doing things for justice. Kaboom! The bombs exploded and the man flew into a million places. Tamaya! How pretty! That's what you get for standing there with a fuse lid like that. What a pathetic end. Not my die, indeed. The man with the bombs died, so now we can safely use this, pass the, this passageway. Okay, I guess this was just a joke and not an actually a serious obstacle. Alright. My bad. After a little while, the path split four ways. Hmm, the path splits, eh? Yes, it looks kind of confusing. Don't worry. I think N2O will draw a crazy map. Crazy? Don't worry about it. Okay, make this point X. Yes, sir, go Lady Milk. Ready, right. Currently in point X. Now that we have dealt with the guy, we can save and proceed. 
Well, it looks like North would be either to the next map screen or a dead end, so let's check North first. We walked for a while, and eventually ended in a slightly large room. A room, eh? It's kinda of weird for you to be in the middle of the hallway though. Yeah. The direction we came from, and, and the west and east, it's strange. Can I draw the map? I guess. It's suspicious, so call it the mystery room or something. Mmm, day. Right, right. We are in the mystery room. Let's check the table. It's a wooden table. I bet there aren't any tricks to it. Move it. Hey, Gendry, hold that side. I faced Gendry across the table, and we picked it up. We're moving it to the right. Gendry and I moved the table a bit to the right. Runs zone. What are we... Nothing happened, eh? Looks like, looks like my intuition was off. Huh? I thought if I moved the table, a secret passage would open up, but... But nothing happened. What about the decorative plant? I don't know what kind of plant it is, but it's been left in the corner of the room for decoration. Tear off a leaf. Rip. I tore off a leaf from the decorative plant. But nothing happened. Fair enough. In that case, let's go... West? Well, should we move? We tried to leave the room and... Clang, clang, clang. Suddenly all three doors closed. Shit. A trap. Huh? It's water. Fish. Water started pouring out of a ventilation duct close to the city. Ooh, a water duct, eh? Yeah, we're going to get washed away. The floor didn't stop, and the water level continued rising. Fish. <laughs> At this rate. We'll drown. Blub blub. The water reached our necks. Gary, do something. I'll become a drowned corpse. Oh no, they're so gross. Oh no! Ah, quit being so carefree. Cuck clunk. There was a loud noise. And the water suddenly rushed toward the southern door. Ah, we're gonna drown. Dot dot dot. I guess the southern door opened. We are pushed out into the hallway again. <laughs> I'm soaked. We're saved. Alright, so we cannot continue that way. Let's go south. Enemy. Oh, it's just some civilians. In that case, you should be easy to kill. Just a little easy civilian massacre. Nothing much. I will go for this civilian. And of course, Henry attempts to finish off a civilian. Isara? Fantastic. Isara level up. What is... It was a grassy plain. No, a field of flowers. Hmm, a field of flowers. Did we go outside? Thunk. I took one step into the room, avoiding the flowers and treading on the ground. Whew, what a nice view. Huh? Huh? Blue sky, white clouds, beautiful flowers. This feels nice. I raised my hands up and stretched. Rent, son. What is it, Kisara? It looks like the sky is painted on the wall. Painted? I looked at the sky one more time. Rans, did you seriously fall for that? Oh, she's right. The sky is a painting on the ceiling. I see. You're right. It's so well done, I was fooled for a moment. Pfft, <laughs> what a splendid painting to deceive me. Go, or, Pica or Picasso must have painted this. Dot dot dot. Tug tug. I think I to all hold on my sleeve. I think I to hold you. Aren't I smart? Aren't I? <laughs> Third, I think I fell right onto the flowers and started sleeping noisily. Don't fall asleep so suddenly, dumbass. But, Ransdor, this place seems suspicious, don't you think? I know that already. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a trap. There must be some kind of trap. Thinking everything is a trap is overthinking. Though, it might just be a place of rest. It is pretty pleasant here. It's nice and warm. It's pretty natural that Athena would fall asleep here. I'm kinda sleepy too. <sighs> I gave a big yawn. Thud. I heard something collapse next to me. Hmm. Kisara? Kisara appeared to be sleeping among the flowers, just like Athena. Hey, Kisara! I thought about waking her, but gave up. Well, whatever. I can let her sleep for a little while. She's been through a lot lately. Genry is snoring. 
I have some loud, unpleasant story. Can't you sleep? Tch, everybody's just taking a break. Then I will too. Kendry keeps snoring. Shut up. Shit. I should have gone to sleep before this guy. I would be able to sleep with all this racket. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I'm still gonna try. Thud. I lay down in the flower field too. It was like a soft bed. I dozed, smelling the pleasant scent of flowers. A short break. Dot dot dot. And everyone is breathing in their sleep. Some time passed since Francis' party fell asleep in the flower field. Hmm, is it clear? A long girl appeared from the opposite side of the room. It's the jupe, it's the jump. And she has an axe. They're sleeping, they're sleeping. It was a great success. The jumper raised her axe and tiptoed to the up to the right. Um, the jumper raised her axe and tiptoed up to Rance's party so as not to wake them up. Quiet now, quiet. Quiet. The jumper arrived at Rance's side, where he slept happily. Hello? The jumper spoke into Rance's ear, testing the death of his slumber. He is really asleep. Well, I feel bad about this, but it's time to sleep forever, okay? It won't hurt as much as to get your throat cut while you're sleeping. The jumper quietly raised your axe up high. A scream from Sala. Yeah! Run, Summer! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. A scream? I opened my eyes. Shit! Die! What? When I opened my eyes, the axe was about to drop. Whoa! Slash. I somehow managed to avoid the axe. It stuck up, up out of the ground. Eh! Mini! Why did you dodge? I'm not a mini. You almost killed me. Please? Die? No. Who? What's going on, Ranzono? Huh? I... Nya, nya. Go, ka do 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 Ah, everyone's awake now. I was almost there, too. Who the heck screamed just then? Jeez, time to get away. I grabbed the jumper's arm before she could get away. You tried to kill me, so you're prepared to for what happens now, right? Shake, shake. The jumper shook her head. I'm gonna beep you silly. Okay, and she is the enemy. Ran said, I'm gonna make you cry. Gasp, Mini. But I won't lose. Let's fight. My Mara's burning hot now. Jump and brandish an axe. And kick Gendry's shooting. Alright, let's just beat up Jump. While Gendry is healing. And unfortunately, Kisara is just kicking. Well, this should not be a big... yeah. Kendry, where did you get that Sarah gun? I hope that wasn't part of mine. You bastard. Okay, and we are almost done. Success. Jumpa has been annihilated. And we left up. Alright, that well then? No! It's sex time! I bounce on the weekend jumper. You know, we almost got through this episode without censorship. Well, Rance, the ally of all girls, has finally found some use for Gendry. And Rance had a wonderfully fun time. After having my fun, I released the jumper. Why can't I have why can't I just have one Rance donor? Maybe next time. Ooh. 
Most girls will do anything I say if I tell them I'm gonna seek Geru and them. He's a nice item. Crumble, crumble, crumble. That sure was dangerous, huh, Ransan? Yeah, I guess so. If somebody hadn't screamed back then, I might be dead. Hmm. Come to think of it, who was it who screamed that back then? I didn't hear it, so I don't know. I didn't know, the, don't know it neither. Hmm. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Athena, the man. Okay. I'm gonna draw a flower field. Can I? Sure. Okay. Right, right. Look, I drew Jumper Chan too. She is not very cute. Is it so? Eh? Right. Well, this will be the end of today's episode. Tomorrow we will continue our investigation of the Angel Army's base. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.